How's it going? David Cramble here with another FL Studio tutorial. Today we're actually going to be talking about time signatures. Now, if you don't know what time signatures are in music theory, it's kind of the timing of the song. So, for instance, a beat like this would be considered 4-4 four, four, or 2-4. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So basically, four, four is four beats in a measure. Okay, so what if we want like three, four, like mm, bop, bop, mm, bop, bop type of t timing? One, two, three, one, two, three, or six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, in FL Studio, you, you can't really say, okay, I want the timing to be 6-8, or I want the timing to be 3-4. You have to adjust how many beats and bars there are for the step sequencer. It's kind of confusing, but I'll go ahead and show you how to convert your project from 4-4 to 3-4 or 6-8. So what we'll do is we'll go to Options and Project General Settings. Now, pull this to the center. Here is Time Division. Now, if we increase bar to say 5, in our step sequencer we have an extra bar of 4 beats. So that way, if we decrease beat to 3, you'll see we have 3 beats for every bar. So what this means is if we want 3-4 standard, we'll change it from 4 bars to 3, and we'll leave it at 4 beats. Okay, so now here is 3-4 time. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so there's three, four, and if we want six, eight, we'll just increase this to six. So, I'll go ahead and make a beat real quick in six, eight. Now, of course, when you do timing like this, it turns out pretty slow, so we'll just increase the tempo. And there you go, there's 6-8. Now this is 6-8 standard. And why I say 6-8 standard is because, say you want to add an extra hi-hat beat in there, like so. Okay, so let's say, instead of this type of 3-4 or 6-8, let's say we want to do like a swing rhythm, like type of thing. Well, instead of adjusting this, which can kind of screw stuff up, we'll go ahead and adjust our project settings again. So, for 3-4, we'll bring the bar down to 3, and bring the beat to 3 as well. Make a little beat here. And we'll give it a listen. Hear the hi-hat? It's got a nice little swing to it. And likewise, for 6-8 timing, we'll increase the bar to 6. And we'll make our little beat here. And we'll push play. Here we go. So now we've got some swing in our kick and hi-hats. And that concludes this tutorial. Pretty quick, pretty simple. Now you know how to get from 4-4 four, four to 3-4. And if you want to change it to like 5-4 or something weird, just mess around with these. So this would essentially be 5-4 time, 5 over 4. Makes sense, pretty easy to, to do, but you can, you know, change things however you need to change them and get the right type of timing that you desire for your project. My name is David Crandall. I hope this tutorial helps you in creating more music in FL Studio. I know it could be hard to get from 4-4 to 3-4, kind of confusing, 
but this tutorial should help you out. Check out our new Facebook page. Every time we make a new video, we're going to post it on our Facebook page, so that'll be helpful for you guys. Uh, subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it or if it helped you. My name is David Crandall. I hope this tutorial helps you out, and uh, please subscribe, and until next time, have fun making music.